Hi, I'm Lucas from Switzerland. About one year ago I was searching for a theme to pick for my graduation work. I saw it as a chance. Finally, I could put my skills into practice and do something on my own. I chose the theme Hydrofoils. So I was able to combine my interest in technology with my hobby, sailing. I was aware of the fact that building a hydrofoil is not an easy task. And at that time, I thought I was aware of all the obstacles. Nevertheless, I worked hard to finish this project successfully. And eventually, it worked. This video is about the building process, which involves planning, different measurements and tests. Here are some early sketches. My aim was to make something new, so I decided to make some changes to existing designs. These were my targets for the design. Nothing should be attached directly at the boat, so the boat is less likely to be damaged. It should be removable and adaptive, so it can easily be transported and maybe fitted to another boat. The height should be regulated electronically, so the expandability of the system is limitless and it can be adjusted afterwards. It should be more stable due to twin main foils with an angle, so the longitudinal axis is stabilized automatically. Before I was able to start construction, I had to make some tests and measurements. Originally I planned to make the foils out of wood. To assure that wood is strong enough to build foils out of it, I made a stress test of Sapelli mahogany wood. As you may have noticed, the foil is the wrong way around. <laughs> so dumb. So let's start with construction. I made an excel sheet to try different values for the variables. Most of the sketches were made by hand. I also used CAD programs to design metal parts. Then it was time to organize the materials. The main materials for the hydrofoil are Sapelli mahogany wood. It's an ideal material for prototyping. It's easy to work with, very stable and water resistant. Stainless steel. It gives the structure stability, it does not corrode and it is very durable and rigid. Styrofoam. It fills the gaps between the ribs of the wing. It is very lightweight and easy editable. Glass fiber reinforced plastic. It reinforces and covers the wings. Thanks to the Walter Zucker AG, I could buy the Margoni wood for a very low price. Thankfully the Hegnometallurge made the basic metal structure of the wing for me. Thanks a lot! These bumps prevented the rib from breaking during the welding process. Now they had to be trimmed off.
Bonn sind. Ja. Yeah. Sehr aerodynamisch. <lacht> und wo, und wo befindest du dich genau? Irgendwo dort halt, dass es nicht kippt. Noch <lacht> krass. After the first test run, I finished the electronics. In order to keep a constant height, the angle of attack has to be adjusted, which affects the lift created from the falls. I used an Arduino Uno microcontroller for prototyping and an Arduino Uno for the finished product. I combined the Arduino microcontroller with a LCD display to show important variables, a slider to set the desired height during automatic operation and in manual mode to set the angle of the foils directly. Two potentiometers to adjust the cycle frequency and the factor of correction. Two ultrasonic sensors to measure the distance between the boat and the water surface. A button to switch between manual and automatic mode. Ultimately the Arduino controls four 12 kg servos. One for each wing part. Das ist das Schluss, wenn wir da